Well, if you're a Texan, you most likely know the name Ray Childress, a five-time Pro Bowl defensive end and most notably with the Houston Oilers. He is now involved with Ford in the Houston area, so I guess there's no coincidence his son plays football and is named Ford. The only strange thing might be this hulking defensive animal that used to chase, hunt, and attack quarterbacks has one for a kid, but like Daddy, the kid can play. Hey guys, I'm Ford Childress. I just want to walk you through my day real quick. I wake up around 6.30 and uh, come downstairs and usually my mother has some breakfast or a smoothie for me. And then I usually help her run the puppies because we just had a litter. And then me and my brother are off to school. We're actually going through the finals right now, so um, I'm getting ready for those. Um, after class, uh, I meet up with my coach and we usually do some, go through a film and a little chalk talk. Uh, run defenses and stuff. This is probably He's great. rock. You're in yeah. rock. So this corner's got what? Deep third. He's got deep third. So and if he runs off with We him. head out to the field and do seven on seven to get timing with uh, the receivers and running backs. You know, Ford is, is a leader on and off the field. He's a guy that in a classroom, he does a great job. In the hallway, he does a great job, but then most importantly, when he gets onto that football field and he steps into the huddle, he just, uh, you know, immediately gets everybody's attention. He, uh, he's a great leader. His work ethic is unmatched. He's always here early. We watch film. Um, every, every week he comes in, we watch film of, our, of not only our last game, but of our, pre, our next opponent. Um, he breaks it down. After practice, he's always up in the weight room lifting weights. He's just got the blue collar work, work mentality that you want a quarterback to have. So after seven on seven, I, I come home, but if I didn't work out at school, I usually just work out in my garage with my brother because he's back in town from a and You know, Ford's mother, Kara, and I are just so very, very uh, fortunate. We're proud of him. We're proud of his accomplishments. And uh, it's been a wonderful experience, you know, the, the whole, every, every step of the way. Well, the overall recruiting process has been interesting for me, and I've, I've shared all the knowledge and experience that I have with my son, Ford, I can assure you. But then also, I have to tell him in a way that to make sure, to make certain that I'm not trying to dictate to Ford where he should go or where he should not go. And I think that's important for a parent to do, because at the end of the day, Ford's going to wake up in West Virginia and he's got to be convinced that that's the right place for him and he made that decision. The good thing about Ford, I think he just, he didn't want to get caught up in um, courting a lot of different schools. He, he really um, is focused and he didn't want it to distract from school. My husband traveled with Ford on a lot of recruiting trips and then when they narrowed it down, mom got to go and kind of put a final check on which one worked best for Ford. Uh, the recruiting process has definitely been exciting. Uh, I've committed to West Virginia to play quarterback and I'm really excited. They have a great offense and a great coach and Coach Holgerson. And I mean, it's a great school and I'm really excited. My advice to people, other people who are going through this is just to uh, slow down and be blessed that you can go through this process because not everybody can and be humble. Justin Simmons of Next Level Athlete joins us now had a look at him and well he really looks like a nice kid he, was he a good kid seems like he's got kind of everything in place he really was I was really impressed with uh, Ford's humility overall he was a real down-to-earth kid as was uh, everybody in the family really there was <laughs> it was a really uh, exciting experience to go and meet with them uh, also real impressed with uh, Ford's uh, uh, academic prowess. He's a very astute uh, student athlete, uh, real focused on his academics, and may in fact be one of the first uh, kids ever to graduate early from Kincaid High School. So <laughs> that was that was pretty cool. Um, it was just a, a good experience overall. I was real excited uh, to get that opportunity to sit with the family. Uh, the other thing that was real impressive about uh, the Childress household is that uh, they, they're really focused on letting Ford make those decisions in terms of where he was going to go. Uh, he chose to go to West Virginia. Um, I think it was a good decision. And if he doesn't do what his daddy wants him to do, daddy's big enough where he can still kind of take him to test. Justin, thank you very much. We've got plenty more still to come on Next Level Athlete. Up next, we spend the day with a Super Bowl champion and record-setting Texas high school quarterback, and he's looking to help you stick around.